So we're going to go ahead now and deal with the Reflectance 90 color. And in order to deal with the Reflectance 90 color, we also need to deal with the issue of roughness. So here's our Reflectance 90, and here's our roughness. And when we create a default material in Maxwell, this is what we get. We get a gray Reflectance 0, a white Reflectance 90, and a 100% roughness. And this is known as a Lambert material when it's at 100% roughness. And this cancels out an awful lot of things. So the very first thing we want to be aware of is that when you're at a roughness of 100, the only color that matters is your reflectance zero color. Your reflectance 90 color does not matter at all, which is the reason why I didn't cover it at all in our last lesson is because we never messed with the roughness at all. So therefore, only thing that mattered was our reflectance zero color. The other thing that I'm going to have to do here, because we're going to cover a lot of territory, is I've created a bunch of renders and a bunch of materials that you can download in the work files. They'll all be in a folder called Chapter 2. And what you can do is download them and look at them and work with them to see some of what I'm talking about here because I've got to cover a lot of ground and I'm going to have to actually break this first part of Reflectance 90 and Roughness into two parts in order to fit it all in. So the very first thing I'm going to do here is I'm going to look at the materials that I have here and I have them in my O2, O2, Roughness, and Reflectance 90 folder. And the first part here is just that same default material we were just looking at right here. And all I've done is I've dropped that roughness parameter down. So here it's at 90, 80, 70, 60, 50, 40, 30, 20, 10, and 0. And the idea, of course, is that when you drop the roughness, it becomes more and more shiny. Seems like a real obvious thing. And it is, except for the fact that when you start to add in color and stuff like that, things can happen that are a little bit unpredictable. Let's go ahead and look at the finished render of this. So here we go. This is the default material of roughness zero. And then as we saw in those preview renders, that as we increase the roughness, it becomes rougher. Boy, big surprise, right? Thing worth noting here, though, however, is this is our Lambert, that one roughness 100. It is a very unnatural material. If you look at this carefully, you'll see it doesn't have very much rendering to it. I mean, when, in rendering, I don't mean rendering in terms of 3D rendering. I mean rendering in terms of that sort of modeling that occurs when something has a sense of three-dimensionality. And here you can see with our Roughness 90, which is only 10 points away, we see a big difference in terms of its modeling. We see our highlights are actually showing up. We see shadows are a little bit more subtle. Here it looks very flat, very cartoony. And so we don't really want to use the Lambert mode. This is something that we really want to avoid if we can. For my purposes, I tend to keep my upper limit for my roughness at 95. However, you can go as high as 97 if you prefer something a little bit rougher than 95. A lot of people won't go any higher than, say, 90. So it just depends on what your tolerance is for the sort of flatness. But I really don't go for the Lambert at all. I don't use it at all, ever. Down here, by the same token, roughness zero never really exists. I mean, in order for something to have 0% roughness, it would need to be perfectly smooth. And there's really nothing that's perfectly smooth. I mean, it's practically impossible to make something perfectly smooth. So what we usually have is roughness one or roughness two, and that will give a more realistic look. However, for the sake of this particular demo, I didn't worry too much about that. I just kept it at roughness zero. Now. The next thing that we're going to look at here is part two, and this has to do with how that Reflectance 90 color impacts low roughness objects. And what I mean by that is our Reflectance 90 by default starts at white. And at a low roughness, this Reflectance 90 color becomes very, very important. At a high roughness, it doesn't matter. We take our primary color information from Reflectance 0. However, at a low roughness, the Reflectance 90 becomes very, very important. It controls the fall off between Reflectance 0 to Reflectance 90, but it also controls the intensity of the shine, these outer edges. And I won't really get into too much as to why that is at this point, but I'll just let you know that this intensity of this Reflectance 90 is very, very important. And also worth noting is that we can go all the way up to 255 for Reflectance 90, Whereas with Reflectance 0, we can only go to 225. So that's something to bear in mind when you're thinking about, well, what do these two colors need to be 
we can always go higher with our reflectance 90 than we can with a reflectance zero. And part of the reason for that is, is because generally speaking, the reflectance 90 is usually lighter. Now, let's say we wanted to change that reflectance 90 color. Well, we would just go over to HSV and we would go down to V, which is value, and we would just pull the slider down until we got to the shade of gray that we wanted, right? So that's exactly what I've done here on these materials. I've just gone over and I've reduced that reflectance 90 color down. So here's 255, 225, 195, 165. If you can tell here, there's a trend. I'm dropping 30 points on each of these. And you can see here pretty clearly that this 255 is very shiny, whereas zero, which would be pure black, is not. Even though all the other parameters are exactly identical, these two look very, very different. And the reason why is because of the intensity of the reflectance 90 color. So let's go ahead and take a look at that in our render. Well, that would be R&R &R, part two. So here we go. 255, that's our normal low roughness default material. And as we go down, you see the things become darker and darker and darker, all the way down here to zero, which would be pure black. So even at 45, it's, it's still better than it is at pure black. At pure black, it's just completely unnatural. You would almost never see a material that does this. I mean, it's very, very, very rare that you would see a material that falls off to pure black. It's an ugly look. It's not something that I would recommend doing. I would always have some color. I think my lowest that I go for blacks is usually down to about a value of 17. But you can take that to wherever you feel comfortable with. But generally speaking, the reflectance 90 color works better if it's lighter than our reflectance zero color in terms of just giving us the proper reflections that we're going to expect. The thing that's important to remember about this, though, is that when we increase the roughness, the black doesn't matter because here we're still at value zero and here we're still at value zero. But you can see here roughness zero, we see a lot of that black. Roughness 50, we see some of the black. And roughness 100, we see none of the black. So the higher the roughness goes, the less that reflectance 90 color matters and the more the reflectance zero color matters. And that's just very, very typical of the way that things work in Maxwell. So we're going to go ahead and break this in half and we'll do the second part in the next video.